Let's go, let's go. Shabbat shalom, Shabbat shalom. Everybody, what about a powerhouse Shabbat we got today? Make sure that you are hitting the like button. Make sure you hit the share button. As you see, I've got on the screen, drop your name, your city, your country, or your city and your state. Represent Yahuwah. We got a powerhouse Shabbat message for you today. Make sure you hit the like button. Make sure you hit the share button. That's a big one. So everybody do that right now. Let's represent this online live that we're having on this show. This is a Shabbat live. We do this from time to time. We're going to give you the specially new released Mahashim. That's the book of Acts, Mahashim chapter 3. While I was translating this, I was moved to the core and how powerful it is. And I think that it represents what we're building here with Promote the Truth and how we expect this message to go to the ends of the world. And every single person that's here today, you have an opportunity to etch your name in history. Because see, it says, and I was just, when I was translating this the other week uh, in Revelation and how Zoom, when it talked about in the book of life. As a matter of fact, let me, let me see that real quick. That's a freshly translated you know, I, I just let me see if I can grab that little piece real quick over there in the book of Hazun. That's Revelation. Big shout out to everybody that's coming in. Everybody hit the like button. Hit the like button and then hit the share button. That'll be that, that'll really help us out with the algorithm, fam. Help us out with the algorithm. Y'all know how we do it here. We work as a team, we work as a family, we go ahead and guess what we're doing? We're on a mission not to just come and get fed ourselves, but there's nothing better than it when you lay down your life for a friend, you know? Like, like, go ahead, put some of your life into it for a friend. Get somebody else saved. You'd be, you'd be amazed at how many people will get saved off of these messages. And all you did was hit a share button. You just hit a share button. Next thing you know, people are getting Save. Let me go look at this, man. This is incredible. I'm trying to pick something up while we're warming it up. I'm gonna do some shout outs here real quick. I just want to, I want to see this part here. Cause this is hot. I want to see this one part. There it is. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. I see it. Over here in High Zoom chapter 20. Is that 20? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Hazun chapter 20. I'm going to start out with that. Wow, that's so powerful. Let me get this tightened up. Hazun 20. Welcome, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to get into the Mahashim, the book of Acts, the real chapter 3. Daniel Bakote coming in with some kingdom business from the gate. Build up the treasury, because we're getting this word everywhere. Yeah. And we covered some of this. Yeah, we covered some of this. Man, I, I, that's like a whole new, that's a whole new lesson. I'm just going to read a piece of this. I got to do a whole new lesson on this. I'm, I'm going to do a whole, I'm going to do a whole piece on this. Let's go. Let's send it out. Let's send it out. Who's going in? Who's coming in? Let's do some shout outs real quick. Let's do some quick shout outs. My sister Emily Aguilar down in Mexico, Veracruz, Mexico. If you have not yet come on and said, I love Yahuwah, dropped your name in your, your city and, and country, your name, your city and state. If you're brand new here, that's something you want to do because we believe in witnesses, effective witnesses, not people who are just hearers of the word, but doers. Shout out to Emily. We got Patrice Pearson coming in. Luya down in Florida. Daniel Libby, my brother, out in Arizona. Robert Arenson coming in from Portugal. Michelle Nicholas coming in. Yeah. Where you coming in from, Michelle? Over there in the Netherlands. William Pola. Is that my man coming in from Ireland? Where you at today, William? You in Ireland? Northern Ireland? I got to make sure I got my man pegged down. Look, we got Danielle Hamilton from Jamaica. All new people, listen. I done said five, four or five countries already. Four or five countries. <clears throat> Shout out. 
to Sanders Beer being a member for one month with our with our channel, giving us support here. We got down in look where we at. David Moorfield, where you come? Y'all got to tell me where y'all at. Jamie Galloway, upstate South Carolina. Diane Casey over in Las Vegas. Yeah, come on, Shabbat Shalom, Queen coming in. Y'all got to tell me where you coming in from. All right, come on. Chicago's in the building with Cliff Clifton. Randall Milgan coming in from Fountain, Florida. Pamela Linus, Northern Ireland. Archella, Amber House, Panna, Illinois. Suhe, where you at? Pauline, Atlanta, Georgia. Lisa Titter coming in from Seattle, Washington. Jermaine Floyd coming in from Minnesota. Samantha Singh, where y'all at? Y'all got to tell me where you at. Nima. Makoko coming in from Tanzania, Africa. Y'all see us swinging around the world? Look at it. Jesse Galepsi. We're back in the USA, Clarksville. Saw y'all were just having your total solar eclipse here just recently. Everybody else out in amazement. And they're gazing at the sky and they're looking at all these wonders. Y'all see all those prophecies coming out saying the end of time's going on? It ain't the end of time until this word has been preached throughout all the nations. Which word? The real word. Let's get that up. Like until you get over to TSNT.org and support, the end is not coming. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm confident. I woke up today, it was nothing in me saying the end was going to come. This is no one knows the hour, but we do know that one key component. He said that this, until this word, that's the word, that's the true word, the truth, is preached throughout all the nations, then the end will come. Daniel Libby going to put something in the chat. Put it in the chat, Daniel. Tell them how it rose and what, how important this is what we're doing. Tell them. You see, why is the true scripture so important? Lisa Alston coming in from, from Maryland. Christina Mon Montanez coming in from Rockless, Florida. Adam Moore coming in from Canada in the building. Ontario. Blake Bernays coming in from the beautiful Beautiful Hawaii. Joe and Ebony, Colorado. Yeah, I see you, Sue in New Jersey. Hey, we got Elmer and Kareen Hinko coming in from the Philippines. It's 3.45 a.m. in the morning in the Philippines. They in here. Wow, they done finished their Shabbat already, but he's still representing him and his beautiful wife with the kingdom. We're doing kingdom business in here, by the way. Donna Steele coming in from all the way from uh, New Jersey. Come on. Jesus Perez coming in from Austin, Texas. That's right. See Larry Swan coming in from Brandywine, Maryland. Michael Fickick from Carolyn, Maryland. Uh, there's another Maryland, back-to-back -back Maryland's. Michael, did you know Larry's up in Maryland? Come on. All right, I got to get in. Got Shannon Collier going in Arkansas. Mandy Lee coming in right around my old stomping grounds, Tampa, Florida. Come on. Woo! Samantha Singh coming in from Trinidad and Tobago, taking us out in the Caribbean. Y'all new people better listen. I'm swinging this everywhere. Yeah, Shelly coming in from Pensacola, Florida. Byron Ship coming in from Memphis, Tennessee. Y'all see where we're at? We're all over the place. Yeah, Devin coming in from Texas. I'm going to miss some of y'all, but I love all of y'all. Yeah, Ben coming in. Who is that? Nebraska's in the house. Shula. Woo! Shabbat Shalom, Shabbat Shalom. Y'all know I got a blazing message for y'all. Kathy coming in from New Jersey. Carolyn coming in from Adelanto, California. Some of my old stomping grounds when I played ball out there with the Mavericks. I didn't even know. You didn't even know that, did you? Did you, Carolyn? One of, one of our first championship when I was in the Padres organization. Shabbat Shalom, Sister Cheryl's in here from Donnell and down stomping grounds over there at that. Well, we used to tear them up on Lake Russo, me and my dad catching them big bass. A fisherman in the building. Yeah, we're going to make you fishers of men and women. <laughs> Any fishermen in the building? Look at that. We lighting the chat up already. Daniel Bacote. Don't play around with Daniel. Yeah, Tamika's coming. Look at all the new people coming in, y'all. New. Look at all these new, new names, new names, new names. Yeah. New London, Connecticut. What's going on, Kevin? Hold on. Daughter of the Most High. Who is that? Romania. I think we put Romania on the map the last time, didn't we, Lena? 
We've got Romania on the map. We got over 50 countries that said they love Yahuwah. We all think about that. Yeah, Romania is one of our new ones. It's our sister over in Romania. You got, hey, you love Yahuwah. Y'all represent. That's Europe coming in strong. Yes, girl, you know. Get those babies immersed. Get rid of that name baptized out of your vocabulary, fam. It's immersed. Baptize a pagan name. We'll talk about that. Come from baptismo. Don't want to mess with that. Come on. I'm just checking y'all out. Then I'm going in. All right, I'm going in. All right, here's what this is why this is important. Why everybody got caught up in the total solar eclipse today. Look it up in the sky. Dina coming in from Bermuda. Taking us out there in the ocean. The Atlantic, right? We got Bermuda on the map. Let me check before I go in. Make sure we got Bermuda. Pretty sure we do. Yes, we do. It's one of our newer countries. And we got people that say, I want all the new people to understand this. All the new people to understand this. We don't think there's ever been a coordinated effort ever to where you got people from over 50 countries that come on and they put a testimony and say, this is my name, this is my city and country or city and state, and I love Yahuwah. Can you imagine what the what the heavens are thinking when they see, when Yahuwah, like right now, I got chills going down my arm because I know the messengers, we have, we have very specific powerhouse messengers that have been assigned to watch over, promote the truth in the movement. And I'm not playing. Yahuwah spoke to me about the spirit. There is very strong. To me, I felt this the whole time. I felt it. But I, me and Lena would talk about it. I said, no, I said nothing's going to kill me until Yahuwah gives permission. Nothing's going to hurt any of y'all until Yahuwah gives the permission. Sister Diana in Romania. Nothing. Y'all put that in the chat. Nothing can touch me without Yahuwah's permission. Put that in the chat. Let's get the Shabbat start out this way. Get your mindset. Get all the fear out of you. Everybody was so afraid. I should say many, millions of people were afraid today at that total solar eclipse. So instead of embracing that that's two great witnesses, the sun and the moon that's been set up as a sign for the Shabbat, that's their number one sign that we get from the sun and the moon that came together today, lined up completely, which is rare for them to completely line up. Guess what? They lined up. It's a sign. You got to start understanding nothing can touch me without Yahuwah's permission. You see, now I'm going to tell you something. Come on, Salinthia. That's my sister, Salinthia. Stuart in the building with that super. Love you, sis. See, once you understand this, you set yourself apart. As soon as you believe what you just typed, nothing can touch me without Yahuwah's permission. Everybody listening, you have an opportunity to come underneath the protection of the Most High. We have very specific, powerful messengers sign name, what they call angels, that have been put in a sign to the promote the truth family. And that's why I believe I had to come talk to you about Mahashim, Acts chapter three. Randy Moon's in the building. That's super. Yeah, nothing. You want to be set apart? Come under the right process. What's going on the assembly of musical production? Matter of fact, I'm going to play y'all a nice little sample of a new demo we got going. We can ready to put some music out. Nothing. Now, everybody got caught up. I should say billions of people got caught up today thinking about solar eclipse. Whether they were involved in it or they were as they, it was all over the news, all over the world, right? Annette Green is my sister in the building with a super. Watch this. Watch this, Diane Casey. Watch this, Cheryl. Watch this, Daniel. Look, look, Daniel Libby said the true scriptures is the most important work to be done and preached to the whole world, and then the end will come. Yahuwah will then burn it up. I'm telling you right now. Daniel Libby got a testimony. He can't say those words 
unless he's been given permission from the spirit to say those words. Can't say them. Man, if, if I was y'all new people sitting there, if I was y'all, Daniel, Daniel Bacote's done gifted 10 bronze memberships to our YouTube channel out. I see y'all check. I see some of y'all accepting. Way to go. Good job, Daniel. He just put $50 into y'all that quick. Y'all didn't realize it. I'm tore up. If y'all knew people understood the assignment, Lashaya said, nothing can touch me. You have an opportunity to put it in the chat. I'm going to tell you why this is important. When you write these words, when you have one of Yahuwah set apart ones, one of his emissaries that he's called, that's me. Make no mistake about it. I accepted the assignment. I'm proud of the fact to call myself an emissary in Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Guess what? I'm going to, before I go to Mahashim, that means y'all know we burning up, getting the true scriptures ready to be released. I'm going to Hazun. That's Revelation. I'm going to chapter 20. I'm going to read verse 11. And I saw a great white throne and one who was sitting on the throne. Thank you, queen. Queen's in the building. I saw a great white throne and the one who was sitting on it. When the earth, Rodney in the building, when the earth and the sky saw his face, they tried to run away, but there was no place for them to hide. Did y'all hear that? When this all winds down, finally, when this word has been preached throughout the ends of the earth, that we're highly responsible for. Thank you, Sister Cheryl. That we're highly responsible for. How does that feel to be one of the people that you are on this? Yahuwah Hanan saw specifically the vision from the messenger that was assigned by Yahuwah Mashiach, the Messiah. He said, I saw a great white throne and one who was sitting on it. And y'all listen to this. When the earth and the sky saw his face, Yahuwah, when they saw his face, they tried to run away. But there was no place for them to hide. Verse 12. Then I saw the dead, great and small, standing before the throne of Alua. And guess what? The books, plural, were opened. This includes the book of life. So it's multiple books that's going to get open. And one of those books includes the book of life. Now, everybody listen to me. Everything they had done, those standing before the throne, everything they had done was written in the books. And the dead were judged according to what they had done. And then I saw the sea give up the dead that were in it. And death and the grave gave up the dead that were in them. And everyone was judged according to what they had done. Then I saw death and the grave thrown into the lake of fire. Yes, death and Hades were cast into the lake of fire. This is the second death. And anyone whose name was not written in the book of life was thrown into, to, into the lake of fire. All right. Why is it so important for you to type in, nothing can touch me without the permission of Yahuwah? without Yahuwah's permission. Because every word that you say will be accounted for. You see, most people, when you say that, they go to the negative. Not and promote the truth. Because, see, we teach and we live in righteousness. That's right. Rodney knows I'm on Mach 4 now. We live in righteousness. So our expectation inside here. Brother James in the building with a super. 
Our expectations are way different than anybody else on the earth. We think from powerhouse positivity, and we know when those books are opened up. When everybody else is standing around the throne, our confidence is off the charts. You want to know why? Because our names is written in the book of life. Put it in the chat if you believe your name. Say it. I want you to say this. My name is written in the book of life. Put that in the chat. Put in the chat, my name is written in the book of life. And all the messengers that are assigned to us are watching. Yahuwah himself is paying close attention to what's going on here today on this Shabbat, on this sign that he put two great lights in the sky, had them come and match for a certain part of the world. If you believe it, tell the heavens. My name is written in the book of life. Boy, that's a, have you ever wrote such a thing in your life? I bet you for almost every one of you, you've never even typed them words in. You've never even typed the words in. My name is written in the book of life. Every word will be accounted for. By your words, you will be justified and declared righteous. Thank you, Brother Michelle. By your words, you will be, hey, it's going to be by your word. What you going to type in right now? By your words, you shall be justified. And by your words, you shall be condemned. What you don't say can cost you everything. Come on. What? Hey, look, Yahuwah Baba is the first time. How's that feel, family, when you write down in the presence of, of the heavens, my name is written in the book of life. Come on. <laughs> Daniel, how does it feel? Y'all feel that energy? I'm going to start crying. I'm about to start bawling crying for everybody and my brothers and my sisters here. Y'all my brothers and sisters. They say, hey, 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 Jay, what about your mama, your dad, uh, uh No, no. My mother and my daddy are those who do the will of my father that's in the heavens. Yeah. How's it feel, Christina? How's it feel to see all your brothers and sisters coming together saying, my name is written in the book of life. I'm going to start crying. Woo! I bet you glad you got up, Elmer. Come on, queen, with that soup. I bet you, Elmer and Karen, Kareem, it's about 4 o'clock in the morning in the Philippines. And they feeling the love of Yahuwah go throughout this earth. Go throughout the universes. We send in love. Woo! My name. See it, Daniel? My name is written in the book of life. Oh, yeah. You got to have your... See? Now, what does that bring us to attention to, family? How important is... The Hasha, Hebrew, Patrice, my soul is lit up. Come on, Rush, you feel Yahuwah, Ruah is in here. How important is Hasha? What's Hasha mean in Abari, in Hebrew? Hasham, the name. How important, if your name must be written, thank you, Sister Jeanette, King of Business, Jeanette Sally in here. How important is this name issue if your name must be written in the book? It said it there. It said in Revelation, everybody whose names was not written in the book of life was thrown into the lake of fire. Everybody. So when you say Yahuwah knows my heart or the creator knows my heart, he said, I want to know not just your heart. I want to know your words. I want to know your testimony. And I require that your name, thus says Yahuwah, be written in this book of life. And if you don't respect my name, says Yahuwah, then I'm not going to think about your name when it comes time to instruct my messengers. To write down 
your name in the book of life. Maybe the messengers will just go, I don't know. Maybe I, their hearts was right. They're not going to say that. It says everybody. I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you four scriptures right now. Mahashim chapter 2. That's Acts 2.21. It says in Everyone who calls on the name of Yahuwah shall be saved. Think about it. Everybody who calls on the name. See, in order for you to call on his name, you got to be his sheep. Otherwise, you're, gonna, you, you're not going to feel that call. You're going to get caught up in the signs in the skies. Rush in the building with a super. See? Don't say, hey, Michael Fickey, don't say I want my name written. Mm -mm. By your words, you'll be justified. Say my name is written. By your faith, you shall be justified. Your faith has saved you. Your faith has healed you. Your faith is what gets your name written. Not your good intentions. It's what you do. You Whatever you do is what you believe. Mahashim 221. Hold on. Shaul, who everybody tries to blame on being lawless. Come on, Diane Casey. You see what we're doing. Look at Rodney and know where I'm going. Shaul said in Ramayim, Romans 10, 13, Rodney was, we rocking in spirit. He quoted the same thing that Kappa said, Peter said. He said, everyone who calls on the name of Yahuwah shall be saved. Didn't say no other name. Come on, Daniel Bacote, king of business. Do y'all hear that? He, they literally specifically told you. They did not say any other name. They were quoting the prophet. When Yahushua was walking on the earth, he was talking to the Pharisees. When he was talking and, and going at the Pharisees, he says, you do well to listen to Masha, Moses, and the prophets. You do well, Brother Benjamin in the building. He goes, you do well to do that. He, But what did he say? He goes, because Masha and the prophets were talking about me. That's what Yahushua said when he walked on the earth. Come on, my brother Francois. I love that brother right there. You notice that, Lena, my, my beautiful wife? He didn't say that they were talking about some other name. Who was Yahushua talking about? When he said that Masha, Moses, and all the prophets were writing about him. Is there anywhere in the Tanakh, the Old Testament, is there any recollection anywhere where Masha said the Savior's name is Yahushua? Anywhere. Nowhere. Nowhere. Come on, Ray. Ray know what's going on. Ray Ashley came in here. There's not a place in the Tanakh where any prophet or Masha said the name of the Savior is Yahushua. Not one place. I dare anybody to find one. You can't find a place. So you got to put your common sense on because by your words, you're going to be justified by your words. You're going to be condemned. And it's a fact that your name, you don't want nobody messing up your name. When you're going to go get your inheritance, if somebody left you millions of dollars, you go down there with the wrong ID, saying the wrong name and say, hey, but trust me, they're going to say, get out of my office. I need, they left you this inheritance in this name. If your name is Sue 
Bishop, Susan Bishop, they want to see some ID with Susan Bishop's name on it, and then you get your inheritance. You go down there with Sally Rutherford. Oh, they call me, that's my nickname. You're not getting the inheritance. You got to have your name straight in the books. Nobody here wants their name played with. Nobody here wants a nickname in the book of life. Nobody here wants their sham name. You don't want, in Hebrew, sham. You don't want your sham jacked up in the book of life. Not one. Why you want to play with Yahuwah's name? Think you can call him whatever you want? When he said through his who? He said through his rock, I'm going to build my entire assembly on copper, Peter. Peter comes out of the upper room. First thing he says, come on, Benjamin. <laughs> That's why I said, go down there and ask him. Frankly, if you know. First thing copper said was what? When it came to salvation family. I mean, they just come out of the upper room. They had just spent that time close with the man they call Yahusha. His assigned name for an assigned period of time, and that was it. Most people ain't put it together yet. There's nobody called Yahusha in heaven that's the Savior. Nobody. In heaven now, nobody called Yahusha that we know of. In heaven, period, right now. Not a person. We don't see no record of anybody in heaven called Yahushua. He said, all who call on the name, Acts 2.21, of Yahuwah shall be saved. Acts 2.21, Romans 10.13, Ramayim 10.13. All who call on the name of Yahuwah shall be saved. How come Shaul didn't say all who call on the name of Yahushua shall be saved. There's no salvation in any other name. Wait a minute. They were quoting the prophet, you all. Joel, what's you all's name mean? You all. Joel the prophet, 232. They were specifically quoting Joel, whose real name is you all. Do y'all know what you all stands for? Yahuwah is the all. Almighty one. Yahuwah is the almighty one. In 232, do y'all know what he said? All who call on the name of Yahuwah shall be saved. Now, hold on. If I go to Yisha, Yahu, chapter 43, verse 11. Yisha, Yahu. I want to know before I give y'all any great training today. I want to know if you believe Yisha Yahu. That's Isaiah chapter 43, verse 11. Hold on. What's Yisha Yahu's name mean? Yisha. In Hebrew, Abari means salvation. Is who? Yahu. Yahu what? Yahuwah. Oh, he's saying the same thing that his teammate. You all are saying, in his name he's saying it. He's rocking it in his name. I'm going over to Yeshua 4311. What you going to do with this? It says in Yeshua 4311, everybody who don't believe Yeshua 4311, just hang up. You know how I used to hang up the phone? Just hit exit. If you don't believe Yeshua 4311, just hit the exit button because we're going to frustrate you and the spirit of Yahuwah is going to frustrate you so much because you've been following idolatry, believing there's some other name. Well, Yeshua Yahu says, I, I am Yahuwah. And besides me, there is no other savior. Do y'all believe Yeshua Yahu 4311? Woo! What are we talking about if you don't believe Yeshua Yahoo 4311? Don't y'all argue with nobody. Don't debate with anybody.
Because anybody says anything, anything different, what are they? They greeked up. They've been fooled by King James. They've been fooled by King James's master, Shaitan, Satan. Yahuwah said, I. He said, I twice. He said, just in case y'all don't understand, I'm going to say I twice. I. I. <laughs> you imagine? It's not many times y'all walk in a room and go, I. I. You know if you give them a two I in one sentence, you mean what you're saying. You walk in a room and go, I, I, and then you don't stop there. You leave no ambiguity. In Hebrew, Abari, it says, <laughs> come on, y'all. Ayah. I don't know. Look, Ayah. The word there in Hebrew is Ayah. Ayah, Yahuwah, there you go. First time somebody y'all heard that and rolled out in Hebrew. Ayah, Ayah, Yahuwah. I am, I am Yahuwah. And besides me, there is no other savior. Why didn't he say right there? Ayah, Yahusha. Ayah, Lord. Ayah, God. Ayah. Jesus, Aya, Buddha, Aya. He could have said any other name there. But he said, Hashem, the name that's above all names. He said, Aya, Aya, Yahuwah. And besides me, there is no other savior. I'm here to tear it down. Anybody that believes and calls on any other name, I rebuke that in the name of Yahuwah. I don't want to hear no other names. I don't hear no other excuses. I don't want to hear any other thing. I don't love anybody else. When it comes to the most high other than Yahuwah, let my plans be known to the universe that I follow Yahuwah. Put it in the chat. Say, I follow Yahuwah. Let the heavens, let it see you right now. As for me and my house, me and my house, we serve Yahuwah. I'm here to tear it down. Y'all might as well get ready. And there's going to be tens of thousands and then hundreds of thousands of people eventually see this video. We had 220 some thousand people watch our Promote the Truth videos just last month. When that month, that pagan month they call March, 220 plus thousand just on YouTube. Hundreds of thousands on TikTok. Shall we go up, Francois said. We going up to tear it down. Largest gathering we've ever had is today. They keep getting larger. Y'all notice? How many y'all noticing? This thing keep getting larger. Let's figure out from the real book of Mahashim. I don't know if y'all, can we even handle this today? How many y'all want to just run down the street somewhere? Huh? I want to, don't you want to run out the house? If it wasn't Shabbat, we'd probably run across town. Ah. <laughs> I... Follow Yahuwah. Yeah. Our largest crowd over on Facebook today. There's almost 200 people right now watching it live. And thousands and thousands and thousands going to watch the replay. That's where most people watch. Look at Nicholas saying, as for me and my house, Kate, we follow Yahuwah. Katie Tillman says, I, I follow Yahuwah. What about if mama don't follow Yahuwah? Who you going to follow? Huh? K. Royal said, hey, this blessed are you who are hearing these words today. Blessed are you. You hear that step? You got about 160 over here on, on, on YouTube, Steph. Jesse, I'm going in. 
Are they ready? How many y'all ready? How many y'all ready for the real Acts? The real Mahashim, the real Acts chapter 3. And y'all going to know exactly why Yahuwah started this meeting off today like this. Sister Sherry Harry, my awesome sister. Y'all going to know. Tirza. Every one of y'all going to know. This Yahuwah called this meeting today. He called this gathering today. Yahuwah called it. Because we're going to read for the first time you in your life heard the book of Acts chapter 3. Translated the right way. So y'all know it, Lane. Y'all know it, Heather. If I'm gonna go in, what we gotta do? We gotta get the algorithm jumping. Put some fire emojis in the chat. Light it up. James already knew. Cheryl knew. Put the fire emojis in the chat. Everybody hit the like button. I'm checking out the likes. Hit the share button. Because man, y'all gonna get somebody saved today. Y'all are going to get somebody saved today. There's a high probability when we get to the Shamaim, the heavens, there's a high probability that when they open up them books, everything that you've done will be written in them books. That includes when you hit that share button. I shared it. Now, how do you know they're not going to go in them books and go look? This person got salvation because Amber shared on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram. That's how they got their salvation. You telling me that that's not highly possible? Woo! Put some fire emojis in the chat. I'm going to go in. <laughs> I'm going in. I promise you will never be the same after today. You will never. Because you're getting the real word of life. I'm going in. Mahashim, Acts chapter 3, verse 1. Now Kappa and Yahuhanan were going up to the Ahikah. Ahikah. That's the temple in Hebrew. Y'all want me to put it in the chat? Y'all want to do a little Hebrew while I'm going? Y'all want that? I'll put that in the chat so you know how to say temple in Hebrew from now on. It's call, and I'll give it to you in the Hebrew. So that way you be a disciple. You learning. All right, so temple. That equals. Bam. All right, it's in the chat. Y'all got it? It's on, it's on YouTube and Facebook. Temple equals call, And I gave you the Hebrew spelling. So you got it, both sides. Y'all ready? Now, Kappa, who's Kappa? Kappa's Peter. What's his name mean? The rock is Yahuwah. And Yahuhanan, what's his name mean? Yahuwah is gracious, is compassionate. It's a better statement. Yahuwah is compassionate. How many y'all want? Yahuwah. Yeah. Now, Kappa and Yahuhanan were going up to the Ahikah, the temple, during the hour of prayer around three o'clock in the afternoon. Verse two, and a man that was crippled from birth was being carried there. Every day, people would place him at the entrance of the Ahikah, the temple. The gate was called the beautiful gate. So it was a very beautiful spot. As people were entering the Aikal temple, the crippled man would ask for money. Three, when he saw Kappa and Yahuhanan about to enter the Aikal, he asked them for a donation, some money. Kappa and Yahuhanan stared at the crippled man. So their reaction when he asked them for some money, he, they stared at him. Rather than say anything, rather than give him any money, their first reaction was to stare at him. Stare at the man. Let me do the same thing in the name of Yahuwah. I want to stare at you. You know what they were doing? They were sizing him up. 
They were wondering, did he have the faith for a true conversion, for a miracle? Was this an opportunity for a breakthrough? Was something magnificent about to happen? They were sizing him up. They stared at him. Brother Ray says he needs some healing. I'm staring at you, Brother Ray. Y'all going to hear about some miracles today. Some of y'all need a mega healing right now. Some of y'all need a mega breakthrough. Some of y'all dealing with an unclean spirit. You come here. You've been drawn here. I'm staring at you in the name of Yahuwah. I'm sizing you up. Make no mistake about it. Yahuwah Ruah is here through my eyes. I'm staring at you. Let's proceed. Kappa and Yahuwah stared at the crippled man. Kappa said to him, look at us. Now he's already staring. They're already staring, and the man can see him staring, but instead of giving him some money, instead of doing anything else, after they stared at him, they, they said, look at us. I'm going to say the same thing. Look at me. Look at me. Yeah. Oh, you coming. You, you dealing with the spirit. Really, really. Many of you for the first time. Yahuwah Ruah is here dealing with you. For real, for real. And your name. And what goes on here right now is being recorded in the books. And you will never forget this day. It'll come back up to you in eternity. I call Yahuwah to bring this day as a witness to come back up to you. Hallelujah. Yeah. Look at us. Verse 5. The man gazed at them. Now he stares back at them. His response, Diane, is to stare back. A lot of staring going on. You see, when Yahoo is ready to give you a mega breakthrough, there's a stare down that happens. You've been used to just throwing out words. You've just been used to giving Yahuwah some lip service and you didn't, or whoever you think the creator is. Right now, today, there's a stare down going, that's happening with Yahuwah. There's a stare down. He stared back. He gazed back at them, expecting to receive something from them. He was expecting to receive what? Money. But that ain't all he was expecting. Something in his spirit, because they don't say money there in that translation. I noticed that. And a lot of translations got that as money. I'm like, that's not right. He was expecting to receive what? Something from them. Verse 6. But Kappa said, I do not have any money to give you. But what I do have, I will give it to you. Woo! Yahuwah talking to somebody right now. See, we're not here to give you any money. As a matter of fact, we're here to ask for your support for the kingdom. But what we do have, just like Copper said, we will give it to you. He says, in the name of Yahuwah Mashiach, first time. Ever in any translation, those words have been translated right. You're not going to find one word in the world that says Yahuwah Mashiach. They got it wrong. Yahushua's gone. The name is done. That's it. It had its time on the earth as a cover so it wouldn't get blasphemy charged against him as a baby. No, he said in the name of Yahuwah, Mashiach of Nazareth, the Tassarat, come on, over there where they call Nazareth. 
Get up and walk. They told him, get up and walk. Then copper grabbed his hand and raised him up. Immediately, his feet and ankles became strong. How long? Immediately. Because he was expecting. Y'all remember that? See, some of y'all trying to have that big faith. Some of y'all need a big healing. You just need to get some expectation in you. That's why I started this out with positivity. Telling you that nothing can touch you. You see, the reason you got a disease, the reason you got sick, the reason you got broke, the reason you were broken in spirit is because you have not been obedient. So now you got to humble yourself and deal with that stare down. But Yahuwah saying, are you really ready to change? Are you ready to walk with the most high? Hold on. Then copper grabbed his hand and raised him up and immediately his ankles yeah, and his feet became strong. Eight, he jumped up and began to walk around. <laughs> then he went with them into the Icon, the temple, walking, leaping, and praising Alua. Come on, your money. <laughs> he went in. Can y'all imagine a man being crippled from his entire life? Y'all know how old he was? Who knows how old he was? Watch this. I'm going to give you 20 seconds for somebody to put it in the chat. How old was this man from birth? How old was he? Was it somebody that was 16, 17? How old was he? Yeah. <laughs> Lena said her cramps just went away. <laughs> My wife said her cramps just went away. Blake got it. He's 40 years old. He's over 40, as a matter of fact, Blake. He's got it recorded over 40. So I want y'all to imagine somebody that's over 40 years of age that's been crippled, never, ever being able to walk. All of a sudden, because they stared at the right time at Yahuwah Ruah. If I was y'all, I'd embrace this moment. I was staring to Yahuwah right now. I would accept that stare down. And then I would go into expectation. I'm expecting something. I don't know exactly what I need, Yahuwah. You know. But I'm expecting some great stuff to happen here. Yeah. Verse 9. All of the people saw him walking and praising Alua. The people recognized him. And they remembered that he was the one that used to sit at the beautiful gate entrance of the Ahikal, asking for money. Everyone was surprised and amazed at what had happened to him. As the healed man, y'all catch that? Past tense, he's healed now. He's healed. As the healed man stayed close to Kappa and Yahuhanan, all the people rushed toward them as they were standing at what is known as Shalomah. They were hanging out with Shalomah's porch. I gave you a pagan name, porch, in that moment. Well, y'all got to put your seatbelts on. Yeah. The Alam. They were at Shalomah's Alam. Alam is the real name for porch. Who's Shalomah? Sign name Solomon. Shalom. Shalom. Right? The peace is Yahuwah. Is his witness. That's his name. Shalomah. The peace. They were at his alum, his porch. Everyone was completely amazed. Verse 12. This is going to get hot. 
And when Kappa saw that the people were amazed, he said to them, people of Yeshara, sign name Israel. Are y'all ready? He's talking to you. He's talking to all of you right now. People of Yeshara, why are you amazed at what happened to this man? Why are you staring at us as if we made him walk by our own power and righteousness? The allure of Abraham, Yiddishak, Isaac, and Yaakov, Jacob, and the allure of our ancestors has, what? Esteemed his servant. Now pay attention to the translation. The allure of Abraham, Yiddishak, and Yaakov, and the allure of our ancestors has esteemed his servant, Yahusha. You see that? They took him back to the man that was walking on earth. So he esteemed his servant, Yahusha. Yahusha came as a what? A servant. This is the one, capital O, that you denied. And you hand it over to Pilates, Pontius Pilate. Real name is Pilates. And when he determined to release him, you did not want to accept him. Y'all hear what he said? Terry, welcome. Lando in the building. Come on. Come on, Jamar, from North Carolina. What's Copper doing? He calling him to the carpet. He calling him to the carpet. You want the spelling, Rush? <laughs> Rush wants Pilot's real name. How many of y'all want Pontius Pilot's real name in Hebrew? Rush said give it to him. She thought she was slick. All right. I'm going to give y'all Pontius Pilate. Y'all want it? Another Hebrew break. As we're rocking this, Shabbat. Are we rocking? We got a great gathering today, and we learning. And there's a massive breakthrough available. Somebody getting healed today. I don't know who. Somebody getting healed today. I don't know who. Somebody getting a man. I'm just telling you, somebody going to get breakthrough like forever. For sure, some people getting saved and having their name written in the book of life today. That's a for sure thing happening. Can't y'all feel it? Yeah, I feel it. Praise you, Yahuwah. You hidden these things from the wise and the intellect. You've hidden them from all the arrogant. You hid them from all the arrogant. Everybody that serves some other mighty one. You hid it from the Christians. They can't get it. From the Muslims, they can't get it. No. No. From the Krishnas, they can't get it. From the Buddhists, they can't get it. They can't get it. You hid it from them. They too busy on ancestry worship. Look at that. Amber says she's hollering in the house. That's right. Bam. There you go. Pontius Pilate. You got it in Hebrew. You got it in Abari. Pontius Pilate. Punatius. Punatius Pilatis. First time, most of y'all got his name right. Yeah. There you go, Blake said, I wanted that one. Come on, Yermi Yahoo. There is no other mighty one except Yahoo. Hey, a message of, 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 of just simple healing. That's what this is. Here I go. I'm going in. Get rid of that word baptize, immersed, agor ag agoraphobic. Get rid of that word baptize. That's a pagan word. Got to tear it down. Y'all see me? I'll be sitting up. I'm a watchman. I'm going back in. Hey, the breakthrough for the uh, for the kahal is here. Y'all know what the kahal is? That's the called out ones who accepted Yahuwah. Hold on. The breakthrough is here for us. As a family, we can have a massive explosion of miracles happen today. But we got to be in agreement. Now watch. 
He said, this is the one that you denied and handed over to Pilates. And, and when Pilates, he determined, I find no fault in this man. What, what, what did Pilates say? Somebody bring me some water. Let me wash my hands. I don't want to be guilty of killing this innocent man. That's really what Pontius Pilate said. Bring, he did say, bring me some water. Yeah. He said, bring me some water. And guess what? He said, this man is innocent. But what? But guess what? Cop is telling them, you did not want to accept him. Verse 14, you rejected the set apart and righteous one and instead asked for a murderer to be released to you instead. You didn't want the set apart and righteous one. You turned away the most high. You turned away Yahuwah in the flesh. <laughs> you turned away Yahuwah in the flesh. Come on, ladies, burn them up. Yes, you did. And who did you want instead? You said, give us a murderer. We're offering people the most high Yahuwah. And what do they want? They want some Jesus, a murderer. Jesus ain't nothing but a murderer from the pit of hell. Here to seek and to kill and destroy you. Satan in the name of Jesus Christ and Buddha, and all and all his other ones. Leave him alone. Why would you turn around and then push him out to be dead? Wait a minute. Verse 15, you killed the author of life. Man, y'all hear these words? Who is Yahusha? For all of y'all to get hooked up and caught up and addicted to a human's name, my question is, when Kappa's talking through the spirit, and he says in verse 15, you killed the author of life. He's talking to, he doesn't name, he said that Yahushua, the servant. He, he identified who he was talking about. You remember earlier? He said the servant. So what, what, why is this conversation happening? Because they've seen a 40-plus-year-old a man that was sitting down crippled for all his life. He's jumping and hollering and screaming, I am healed, y'all. And now all the crowds of people want to know what's going on. And there's leaders in the crowd. And there was people in the crowd that was yelling, impale him, impale him, not too long ago. In verse 15, he says, you killed the author of life. That man that was walking on earth, his name was Yahusha. But he calls him now the author of life. Who is Yahusha? Put it in the chat. Yahusha is Yahuwah because who's the author of life? In the beginning, Alua created the heavens and the earth. He created this life. Look at that, Pauline. Oh, King James says the prince of life. Trying to give him some respect. Still lying. Yahusha is Yahuwah. How many times you need to hear it? How many times you going to deny? You going to do what these people did? You going to kill yourself and throw yourself in the lake of fire denying the author of life, who he is? You crazy. You are out of your mind if you want to deny the scriptures. And, and, and even the pagan ones are in front of your face. You just saw somebody put the King James and said he was the prince of life, which is a lie. He's the king, not the prince. The author of life. What did he say? You killed the author of life. Whom Alua did what? Raised him back from the dead 
And we are personal witnesses of this. Man, can y'all imagine? I got chills going down both my arms now. I just had it going down one, now it's going down both. Come on, Urban Jordan. Can y'all imagine the power of Coppenham saying, and we are personal. We are eyewitnesses. You killed him. We saw you do it. We saw you chanting on the killing. Come on, Renee. They was chanting it on. Look, ISR says, Prince, that is a lie. It's the king of life, the author of life. Whoo! What y'all gonna do? What y'all gonna do with this? Brian Robinson, what we gonna do with What we gonna do? We rocking. That's right, we rocking. In the name of Yahuwah. Come on, Francois, can you believe it? The author, he said, y'all can, we are eyewitnesses that we saw y'all grab him. We saw y'all chanting. Y'all, hey, y'all had a chance to get out of this mess. Y'all had a chance for you not to be in it. When we took him over to Pilates, Pilate. No, when y'all took him over there. Yeah, y'all had a chance to get out of Mike, Mike Rowley. They had a chance to get out of it. Because Pilates, Pontius Pilate, he said, bring me some water. This man is innocent. Suhey, he said, this man is innocent. Y'all could have got out of it. Nope, you wanted a murderer instead. Samantha, he's not the Alpha and Omega. No, that's pagan. See, I'm helping y'all. He's the Aleph and the Tau. Never again say that Yahuwah is the Alpha and Omega. That's two Greek words, two pagan words. He's the Aleph, first letter in the Abari alphabet, and the Tau, the last letter. Woo! Hey, y'all know I'm on point today. I'm watching. And I'm teaching on this Shabbat. Shabbat Shalom, by the way. Shabbat Shalom. You killed the author of life. But Alua raised him from the dead. And we are personal witnesses of this. You see this man. Now he pointed at the crippled man. He goes, you see this man. And you all know him. What he did was put his faith. Y'all, I'm going to run out of this house. Lena. You're going to have to put some chains on me not to run out of this house. My wife, my son, y'all get some ropes. I'm about to run out of here. <laughs> I'm about to run out of here. I'm about to cry at the same time. How can I get through this? This is the greatest words ever, right? Come on, Daniel Bacote. <laughs> I'm tore up. I almost can't say the next words. I'm, I'm hit. In my chest. Wow. Woo, that's right. Robert said, run and come back quickly. <laughs> Robert, we all might need to take a run break and come back. All of us might need to just run out, run outside and say, Yahoo! Hold on. I'm going to go through it. Hello, I still. I'm going to go through it. Y'all ready? Y'all tell me how y'all feel when I read this from the true scriptures. Y'all ready? You see this man, this crippled man. Yeah. Woo. And y'all all know him. They know about him. They've seen him sitting at the gate. Then they say, but what this man did is he put his faith in the name of Yahuwah Mashiach and was healed immediately and made strong. What healed him? Come on, James. Y'all tell me what healed him. Kappa just told us what healed him. Not Yahusha, not Jesus, not Lord, not God, not Baal. Y'all better watch out. Jeff said it's 4 a.m. in the Philippines. What healed him? He said, you see this man and you know him. Y'all have all seen him at the gate. But what he did. 
Y'all remember the stare down? How many of y'all remember the stare down? Y'all remember the stare down? When they were staring at him, he knew Yahuwah Ruah was there. Like, I'm staring at you. You know Yahuwah is here with us. His spirit, the Ruah, that's the spirit. That's why I say Yahuwah. That's the breath of life. Yahuwah is here. They said this man, some of y'all won't heal it. Woo! That's right. Francois is an eyewitness. Hey, what got him healed? Pauline said it. Because he put his faith. Come on, Blake. So y'all being fed the true food and water. He put his faith in what? The name. That was, you notice he put the name. He didn't just say his name. He wanted to identify to them that we know why y'all killed him. Y'all going to miss that? Y'all going to let that go over your head? They know. All of them know why they killed Yahuwah Mashiach. When his name was Yahusha, when he walked on this earth, they all are sitting there. They're witnesses. They're witnesses. Y'all ready for this, Sister Lisa? The reason they kill Yahusha, put it in the chat. Put it in the chat. Why did they kill Yahusha when his name was Yahusha? And he was standing there before the chief priest. And he was standing there and they was asking about who he was. Why'd they kill him? Why did they kill Yahusha? All of y'all that can't get this straight. You better get it straight. Come on, Patrice. What is blasphemy? Jermaine, put it in the chat. Y'all know what? I'm going to put Jermaine's quote up here. Hold on. Y'all got, got it rocking. Where'd Jermaine go? There it is. I'm going to put it up on the screen. Look at that. Jermaine Ford gave y'all the answer. Never forget what you see on this screen right now. Never forget it. <clears throat> Blasphemy. He claimed to be Yahuwah. All right, hold on. Because we got to break this down. Come on, Larry Swan. Come on, Mandy. Come on, Luya. Jamie. He said, I am. I, 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 I am that I am the living Alua. Hold on. We got to deal with this before we can get through these verses. We got to tear down. All of you who don't believe that Yahusha is Yahuwah, say it in front of Yahuwah right now. Step up to the plate of eternal life and call Yahusha when he was here a liar. When he says, I am Yahuwah. He's the one that said he's Yahuwah. Call him a lie if you want to. I dare you. I dare you. Aya, Asha, Aya. Did y'all miss it? Wait a minute. Man. <laughs> Woo! Hold on. I'm going to put some more words on the screen because we got to deal with this today in the name of Yahuwah on this incredible set-apart assembly. The Kahal is here. I put something on the screen. Hold on. <clears throat> All of y'all who don't believe that Yahushua is Yahuwah, don't you run away now. Don't you run. You got you to gotta put your chest into it. You got to tell them, I don't believe you. Look on the screen. What's the screen say? Baruch, Abba, Basham, Yahuwah. 
what you're going to do with that. Everybody who don't believe that Yahusha is Yahuwah, how are you going to deal with Baruch Abba Basham, Yahuwah? And I gave it to you in the Hebrew. How are you going to deal with that? When he was riding on that donkey, And they was waving them palms at him. They were saying, Baruch, Abba Basham, Yahuwah. <laughs> Blessed is the one that, look at that, Basham. Blessed is the one that comes in the name Hashem, Bashem. When you're speaking it in that form, it's Bashem. Bashem means the name. So y'all keep missing it. You keep thinking he's talking about somebody else. He says, I come in my father's name. I am in it. My name, I am in that name. I and the father are one. You going to call him a liar again? Put your chest into it. Stop beating around. We got the books being rolled out today. The messengers, I've called them to take copious notes about your thoughts and about your words. Go ahead and tell Yahushua he ain't Yahuwah. And what they say. The Pharisees said, tell them to shut up. Tell them to stop saying it. Tell them to stop. And what did he say? If they stop, these rocks will scream it out. They can't help but know who's rolling in here. <laughs> they know Yahuwah's in the house. <laughs> they know it. He said, ain't no way on earth. I can get them. If they be quiet, all the stones are going to start shouting the name of Yahuwah. You notice it doesn't say Baruch. Abba Bashem Yahusha. Nope. Nope. Regina, get rid of that word Lord. That's a pagan word. Get it out of here. No pagan words allowed. We hate the Lord. That's Baal trying to come in here and take away from Yahuwah. There is no other name above that name. Baruch Abba Bashem Yahuwah. No God, no Lord. None of that. Y'all gonna call him a liar? For real, for real. I want put your chest into it, as the young people say. That's right. God damn the Lord. God be damned. Lord be damned. Jesus be damned. All of them. Damn. As for us and promote the truth on this Shabbat, we call on Yahuwah. I love y'all. And I correct y'all. I just got to tell you the truth. Ain't I? Satan can't come in here with that nonsense. Satan, you ain't got to go home, but you got to get out of here. <laughs> All right. And we got that straight. Have we got it straight? That's right. Damn all the pagans, Brush said. Get rid of the Greek. That's the only reason they say that mess. They all Greeked up. Get on Greek. <laughs> My family ain't joking today. Y'all on point. We giving a shout out to the nations. Damn all them pagan names. Right, Cheryl? All right, we got it straight because I done called all those who don't believe what cop is saying here. I done called you to the rug, called you to the carpet. I love you, Lorena. See, Lorena, she got that. See, Lorena Delgado, y'all better give our sister some love. She got that thing to get into, the, into eternal life. That first thing you got to have is humility. Stop being so prideful with your Greek. They lied to you. They fooled you. But look, cop is telling you the truth. I'm back in. Mahashim Acts chapter 3, verse 16. You see this man. Y'all know him. But he put his faith 
What he did was he put his faith in the name, the Bashem, the Hashem of what? Yahuwah, who? The Mashiach. He's now Yahuwah Mashiach. He's the Savior. He's now completed. He's now completed and confirmed Yisha Yahu. Isaiah 43, 11. I am the only Savior. I, I am Yahuwah. And besides me, there is no other Savior. So this man, he put his faith in the name of Yahuwah, Mashiach. And he was healed immediately and made strong. Hold on. How are we going to get through these verses, y'all? Lena, can you believe this? This Shabbat's off the hook. Here's the next. There's two sentences here in this verse. He goes, yes. Kappa says, yes. Faith in the name of Yahuwah Mashiach alone in and of itself is what healed this man and made him strong in the presence of all of you. Then he doubles down. He said, what did it was the faith in that name. <laughs> Woo! Jody, go to tsnt.org. Everybody get up over there. We are. Tra I, I am reading you the real acts. So we're translating new people. If you go to tsnt.org, you can now be one of the first people to get your hands on the hard copy that's coming out soon of the most accurate English translation of scriptures that's ever existed. Guaranteed. There's nothing. Come on, Daniel, kingdom business. There's no scriptures that can touch it. And it's not competing. It just is. This is some, this is some Aya scriptures. It's just, it's just I am scriptures. It just exists in its raw form. So if you go to tsnt.org, everybody, and you contribute, and you become a package member, you're going to be the first to get it as, once they're released. But you can get it on the digital platform now and start getting some of the books so as, they're, as, we're, as we're doing what I'm doing today. How many of y'all want me to release this one? I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about putting this on this Acts chapter three up as a free download with the Hebrew. It was written in Hebrew. I put the Aramaic too. Y'all think I should put this up and make it a free download? <laughs> How many y'all to do it? Listen, I want y'all, my family, come in here. He doubles down. He said, yes, faith alone in the name of Yahuwah Mashiach is what healed this man and made him strong. In the presence of all of you. Hold on. Verse 17. He, and what he does is he appeals. He goes to their. Thank you, queen. What he does is he then appeals to them. Because they sitting there devastated. Can y'all imagine? They really tripping now. Brothers and sisters. In the past, you may have acted in ignorance. So now he's giving them an out. He done told them y'all killed him. Verse 18, but this is how Alua fulfilled what he foretold through all of the prophets. Thank you, Rush. Through all of the prophets when he said that his Mashiach would suffer. So now he takes them back to the prophets. Y'all see it? So now what he's doing is he's relating to them so they got an opportunity for salvation. Woo! But this is how Alua fulfilled what he foretold through all the prophets when he said that his Mashiach would suffer. Verse 19. What does he say? This is all you new people that have been denying Yahuwah, that's hooked on all these other names. Now all new people, you have an opportunity to step into verse 19 of the real Acts chapter 3. Everybody listen to me. All you new people, listen to me. Because guess what? When you deny them, you're participating 
in him being killed back in the day. Because your fathers, your forefathers and your foremothers, they're the ones that put him to death. And his blood at that time on the stake is on your hands and you can't get out of it. And you're going to be thrown into the lake. Come on, Paulie. Pauline said, yes, do the free day. All right, since Pauline came in so strong with that super, we're going to make that available, Pauline. So she came in and said, bam, we got to put this up as a free download for everybody to see with the Hebrew and the Aramaic. Watch this. New people. Therefore, repent. There's your solution. And turn to Alua. Through his name, Yahuwah, so that your sins will be forgiven and wiped away. Y'all see the opportunity? He said your sins will be forgiven now, and you don't even have to think about them anymore. Anybody here that has been delivered in the name of Yahuwah, anybody here, everybody hit the share button. Everybody hit the like button. Share it out. Like it. Share it out because we can get some people saved right now. Y'all can come out of the lies. They lied to you in them churches. Them pastors lied to you. Them seminary schools, theology schools, they all lied to you. And if you stay in that, you are participating in the murder of the author of life. You now have to go back to that time. And it's written in the books. Come on, Randy. See, you coming in, brother. It's written in the books. Your name's going to be listed as someone who helped kill because you're perpetuating it. Stop and repent. Turn to Alua through his name, Yahuwah, so that your sins will be forgiven and wiped away. Then the master. Y'all listen to this. Come on, Yamani. I need y'all. Come on. Come on. Come on, Shelly. Come on. Come on. Then the master will provide you with a season of relief from the distress of this age. How I many y'all want some relief? Get that torment out of your soul. You should have nightmares if you reject this. I pray you have nightmares if you reject this message. I want your soul saved. I want you to feel it. Come on. Do not give in to Satan. He's calling you. There's a war going on right now. But if you call on them, if you repent and turn to Alua through his name, Yahuwah, your sins will be forgiven and wiped away. Then the master's going to come and provide you a season of relief. You're going to feel it go through your body from the distress of this age. Hold on. Then he will send you Yahuwah Mashiach who has been appointed to save you. Family, y'all hear this promise? If you just repent and call on the name of Yahuwah, he will give you relief from your stress, your worries, and then he's going to send and put in you the author of life will come and live in you, Yahuwah Mashiach. He's been appointed to save you. 21. Can y'all handle this? <laughs> Ebony gifting out memberships. Sister Ebony has put $50 into y'all. That gives you a month free as a supporter for our channel here. It's great work we do. I see all y'all brand new people. The brand new people that ain't saying that and sitting in the back of the room. We talking to y'all in the back of the room. We want y'all to come to Yahuwah. Yeah. We want y'all to, Sister Ebony did that because she wants you to come to Yahuwah. She giving you that little nudge that it's a great thing. We talking to the people in the back of the room. <clears throat> Repent. Come on up to the front of the room. <clears throat> Don't nobody be talking about your situation. Jeff, that's from the pit of hell. You call on Yahuwah. There ain't no right time. There ain't no right situation. 
Yahuwah will save you right where you're at. It's your faith that heals you, not your works alone. So I denounce that lie, Jeff. Stop saying it. Don't say it again. Allow Yahuwah to come and save you and give you a season of refreshing. Yeah. That's what Yahuwah wants to do. I'm watching today. He'll set you free. And guess what? It don't matter what everybody else says. It don't matter. It don't matter if they kill you. You're going to be resurrected and put on high with Yahuwah. Who cares what they can try to do to your body? But they can't do one thing without Yahuwah's permission. That's why you got to understand there's a time of refreshing. All right, Kahal, I'm calling y'all out. Here we go. 21. Yahuwah Mashiach must stay in heaven until the restoration of all things. Alua spoke about this a long time ago through his set-apart prophets. Woo! Emily gave out five memberships supporting the new people. New people in the back of the room. Come on up. 22. Indeed, Masha said, the he's talking about Moses now. He done brought Moses in here. Masha. Indeed, Masha said, the master Alua will raise a prophet from among your own people like me. Listen to whatever he tells you. Now what he's doing is he's pegging on, look at, hey, copper's rocking. We're only talking about 26 verses. And I'm on verse 22. He covered everything in this one chapter. Come on. He went back and said, hey, Masha told you he going to come from one of your people. That's Dewey, David. Yeah, that's Dewey, David. Listen to whatever he tells you. Verse 23, whoever does not listen to that prophet, Yahuwah Mashiach, will be utterly cut off from among the people. All the prophets from Shamuah. Who is that? Shamuah. Samuel. Come on. All the prophets from Shamuah forward announce these days you are now experiencing. They see this man as a miracle jumping up and down. They see him speaking in their own languages, no matter where they're from. They're sitting there seeing the power of Yahuwah all over the place. They wonder what's going on. He goes, they done spoke about this. 25. You are heirs of the prophets and of the covenant which Alua made with your ancestors when Abraham said, when he said to Abraham, through your descendants, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Come on, family. Verse 26, the last one. After Alua raised his servant back from the dead, he sent him to you first in order to bless you, allowing you to turn from your evil ways. Hallelujah. See, the kingdom is first for the lost sheep of Israel. First. <clears throat> That's right, Shella. Listen, many of you who are hearing my voice now, you don't even recognize it. You're from the lost tribes of Yisrael. There's 12 tribes that went out and dispersed throughout the world. Yahuwah has told me, one of his emissaries, hey, go call and find the lost sheep of Yisrael. First, the Guyim, Gentiles will automatically come in and gravitate to this good word. But those lost sheep, they're going to be the impact people like never before. And we'll have some Guyim do it. But man, that crazy fire is coming from the lost sheep. I call them the 144. There's going to be 144 of you. To get to the 144,000, it's going to start with the 144 real ones. 
If you are a real one, put a 144 in the chat. Like if you're like, Yahoo, I'm all out with you. I'm not going to the left or to the right. I'm the greatest supporter of your greatest movement that's happened since these days that Brother Jay's reading about. This is this time of refreshing. I know it. You ought to see what my eyes have seen since 2007. I called on Yahuwah 17 years ago. Right at 17 years ago. We created the Promote the Truth website shortly thereafter in the pagan month they call August 2007. This word has been going and going, and it wasn't hardly a person. Come on, Daniel Bacote, King of Business. I'll conclude with this today. It wasn't hardly a person that was really, really thinking about Yahuwah. You couldn't find his name. In Google in 2007, when I first found his name, you couldn't find it in MSN, you couldn't find it in Google, you couldn't find it in Excite, you couldn't find it in Alta Vista, all those search engines back then. You can only find it, we could, in Yahoo.com. Now, you think that's a, you think that's a coincidence that his name is Yahuwah? And when he came to restore his name on the earth, when he opened up, Knowledge through the internet. That's how knowledge is increasing. Come on, Kyle. As knowledge is increasing through the internet, that's a Yahuwah move. People try to blame that and give credit to Shaitan. No, no, no. Yahuwah is the one that ordained, or I should say blessed, and gave favor for the internet because he knew. This is how I'm going to get my word throughout the four corners of the world. Look at all of us from all over the place. Look at us. New people, watch what I'm about to put. This is something new. New people, watch this. Everybody that's here, drop your city and country or your city and state in the chat right now. Y'all look, I want everybody to participate. Just drop in. If you want to put your name there, great. But do me a favor. Put your, put your city and country or city and state. I want all the new people to watch this. Watch this. Where are you from? Roll call. I want everybody to watch how the internet, how Yahuwah's word, this word will go throughout the four corners of the world. Then the end will come. Everybody pay attention. Everybody participate in the name of Yahuwah. Look at that. Kenya, Africa, New Zealand. Come on. Colorado. Come on. Ohio. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Everybody hungry. Budapest hungry. Woo! See, my brother Robert Palzik is up in it. Everybody participate. Netherlands, look at that. Canada, Quebec, Indiana, North Carolina, Maryland. Come on. Everybody, all new people, watch the stream. <clears throat> Everybody participate. Houston, Texas. Come on. Ireland, Northern Ireland. Fayetteville, North Carolina. Put it in. Yeah. Phoenix, Arizona. Tennessee, Netherlands. I know that's you, Robert. Come on, everybody participate. Fiji, look at that. Fiji's in here. The South Pacific, Missouri's in here. Upstate, Puerto Rico, Rachel, my sister. Puerto Rico's in here, New Jersey. Look at Hereford, England, Columbia, Arizona, Tucson, Arizona, Melbourne, Florida. Do y'all see that, new people? All I did was ask for, look at that, Johannesburg, South Africa. Baltimore, Maryland, Tucson, Kingston, Jamaica. Look, we springing all over the world with just a roll call. New York. You all see that? Don't let that go past you. This ain't hard. I don't know of another place on the internet that's got this kind of roll call. Look at that. Nassau, Bahamas. I don't know of another place. Look at that. London, England. Talladega, Alabama, Dallas, Texas, Tanzania, Africa, Florida. I don't know of another place. Trinidad and Tobago, Caribbean, <clears throat> Florida. Y'all see that? That should be a witness to you. His name is being reestablished on the earth. Hazum, Revelation chapter 3, verse 12 is coming true right before your eyes. The prophecy written about in Revelation is coming true right before your eyes. Y'all got to hear 
the real chapter three of the book of Mahashim Acts. What it do for you? What's your witness from today? Everybody, the last roll call I'm asked for is put in the chat. What did today's message do for you? What's the first thing that comes to your mind? Put that in the chat. Let people see, like, what's your witness from today when Yahuwah's true word came on the screen on this beautiful Shabbat while people were getting caught up wondering if the world's coming to the end or some kind of great signs are going to happen. No, no, no. They won't be given any other sign except the sign of repentance. Yuna. Jonah in the well. Yes. Y'all see it happening? Brandon said, Yahuwah will always provide if we have true faith. Michelle said, Yahuwah is the only way. Shelly Max said, words alone cannot express my gratitude for this group. That's right. Yahuwah is with us, William Pollock said. Amber said, I felt the, the fire spreading, getting stronger in me. Yerman Yahuwah said, Yahushi is Yahuwah. He is the author of the life. He's the author of life, the creator. Purity, love, Jamie said, powerful. Celeste said, we can only be saved by one name. That's right. Cheryl said, Yahuwah is gathering his children. Shannon said, there is no other name. Repent, call on the name of Yahuwah. Chris said, anointed by his gracious favor. Celentia said, healing and salvation. Pamela is calling me to listen and learn. Katie Tillman said, what? Repent. Follow the way of Yahuwah. He's the only way. That's right, Katie. Yeah, safety from rich cap. Ebony said, we can do all things through Yahuwah who strengthens us. Hallelujah, Yahuwah. Yeah. Yahuwah is still healing and will provide. Everything that was used in creation will never be used up. Y'all hear what I said? Everything that was used to create well, it's still live and active. It's in the air. The truth all the way. Duran said, Yahuwah definitely opening up my eyes of all things. We as believers, Brian Roberts said, are supposed to live in great expectation. That's right. Larry Swan said, I've been chosen. And did you choose it? I believe you chose it. Sherry said, Yahuwah is the only savior. Yahuwah is everything to me, he said University salvation. Your body said healing and deliverance is in the name of Yahuwah Mashiach. Yeah. Jermaine said Yahuwah is the healer. Donna Steele said I am in Yahuwah and Yahuwah is in me. Yes. What a great witness. What a great witness. This has been a blazing Shabbat gathering. Have y'all enjoyed this? Woo! Samantha said this is a true Shabbat. That's right. The world distracted, not us. Renee said, nothing can touch me without his permission. Jermaine said, I've been forgiven. I've been given freedom through Yahuwah. Yes. Now I'm going to pray and we're out. Marquis said, and Lene said, only one way to everlasting life is through the name of Yahuwah. Y'all ready? Yahuwah, your servant, I come to you. I thank you for all these beautiful people. Thank you for everybody that participated. You called them here and they chose to be here and participate, interact with you and your Ruha today. We felt your presence, Yahuwah, and it meant so much to us. It gave us that life-sustaining energy. Now, we just pray, Yahuwah, that we remain in your favor. We know that your power is here. And we know that you are restoring all things to their right way into the righteous way. Yahuwah, we can't do nothing without you and nothing can touch us without your permission. So we just pray, Yahuwah, right here, right now. We stand together as brothers and sisters from all walks of life. You see your people from all over the world, Father. They're calling on you. They're expecting you to show them great and mighty things, Yahuwah, like you did for the emissaries when the spirit was fresh and fell on them and they walked in that power and they had everything in common and they were focused intently on you. We know that time 
that restoration of that moment is being poured out now in a double portion. I feel it, Yahuwah, that you're going to give us a double portion of that spirit that you poured out then because you're making your move to bring all things new. And we are here standing, Father Yahuwah. We stand it. We ain't got nowhere else to go. Where are we going to go? Nothing else in this world is real but you. So we're going to stand on you. We're going to believe in you. We're going to put all of our chips in on you, Yahweh. As for us, our brothers and sisters in our homes, we're going to serve Yahuwah. And we say in your mighty name, Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for this time. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Now, y'all want me to give y'all a little surprise before I get out of here? I told y'all I was going to give y'all a taste. I told y'all I was going to give y'all a little taste. We got a new production. This is a little bonus round coming off that prayer. I want to just give y'all a little taste of a new song that's about to drop and release. I want to give y'all a little taste of it because I think it'll bless you today. It'll hit you as the, the Promote the Truth music division is about to roll out here in the next week or two. I wanted y'all to tell me how y'all feel. Uh, this sample we just finished up, actually yesterday. Y'all tell me how y'all feel when you hear this song. Turn your speakers up. Everybody turn your speakers up. Hey, before I give it to you, put some fire emojis in the chat. Put some fire emojis in the chat. Shannon, I want to know how y'all feel about this. I want the feedback. As you have a feeling when you hear this song, I want y'all to kind of tell me what y'all thinking, what y'all feeling. When this comes on, I want y'all to kind of give me a taste of it. Give it to me. Hold on. Let me get it dialed in here. Y'all ready? Set. I'm going to let y'all feel it right now. Let's go. I am the creation of my loving creator. You inspire me for the greater good. I am the creation of my loving creator. Name one who do it better. You created the breeze, birds in the trees, the ocean and seas, then you made me, yeah. You did that, you did your big one, and for that, you got a day one. I am the creation of my loving creator, nobody do it better, no it can get no better than you. Birds in the trees, the ocean and seas Then you made me, you made you me in your image, You created me in your image, Yahweh. Take a look around me and I see all you created, yeah No one could ever duplicate it, yeah all the sunrise on the east side All the waves crashing on the west side Got the flowers blooming on the south side And the stars gleaming in the north sky yeah. You did that you did your big one And for that you You got a day one You created the breeze You created the ocean and You made it all You created me in your image You created me in your image I'm the creation of my love and creator You find me for the greater good of my loving creator Nobody do it better Nobody do it better than you Than you Than you Than you <laughs> Y'all tell me what y'all think That's a little sample We're still working on finishing that one up We're working on finishing that one up Y'all tell me Y'all like, hey, we don't play over here and when you go to TSNT.org, you're supporting that, too. Not only the true scriptures, you're, you're supporting our whole media division. We're going to have the most awesome, different music. We're going to end up getting into uh, movie production. It's time for Yahuwah's real way to be established back on this earth. Did y'all enjoy that song? Give me some feedback. Yeah. I'm going over in the chat. Yeah, look at that. No one can do it greater than Yahoo. Y'all like that? <laughs> That's right. Look at that.
That harmony in that song. All right, we working. We working. Yeah. <laughs> you did that. Yahoo did that, y'all. He did it. He did it. He created us. They saw that eclipse of that. Yep, it was Yahuwah that did that. Y'all already know. <laughs> I love y'all. I'll catch y'all again. Your brother's going back into translating. I'm pushing with all I got. And I need all your prayers from me. Y'all see this word is coming out. This is the real deal. Every single person is here. That's right. Patricia said, Yahoo is taking over the airwaves. That's my sister in Kenya, Africa right there. I want every single person to go to TSNT.org and just show your support. Yeah, JC, you like that song? Y'all yeah, know we, hey, JC, no, I've been working on music for years. Now it's coming true. Yahoo is getting his word out. He's getting his word out. That's what's happening right here, right now. I'll go out. As a matter of fact, I just want to give me, I'm going to give one more taste of that song and then I'm going to get us out of here. Y'all ready? Set. Let's get one more taste. Y'all ready? One more. It's the ocean and seas then you made me. Yeah. Hey, B. You did that. You did that, y'all. You did your big one. And for that, you got a day one. You a day one with y'all. I am the creation of my loving creator Nobody do it better No, it can get no better than you Yahuwah yeah. 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 You created the breeze, birds in the trees The ocean and seas Then you made me human You created me in your image, Yahuwah You created me in your image, Yahuwah did y'all hear that? Say, you created me in your image, Yahuwah. You did the big one when you created me. Y'all got to feel that. See, that song is who you really are. He did the big one when he created you. You're supposed to be that impact person for the kingdom. You're supposed to be the big one. I accept that, Yahuwah. When you created me, it was the big one. You did that, Yahuwah. You made me in your image. How could he make us in his image and then not be the big one? Man, y'all better give Yahuwah everything he deserves. Give him his praise. Give him his honor. Give him his esteem. I'll catch y'all right back. Soon, get over to TSNT.org. Love y'all. Shabbat shalom.